Welcome back. Now we're going to send it to Chris Smith and Alex Gove, who are on location for this week's What's Bugging Us at Baker. We're located in the LLC right now. Living and Learning Center. Talk about some roommate situations. They're not always good. Not always good. First of all, sometimes when I am in my room, I'm trying to be studious. I am reading, I'm studying, but my roommate is obsessed with going green. Uber, hippie, liberal is what I like to say. What's wrong with that? All I'm saying is that when I'm reading, you know, I like to concentrate on the text. I like to learn and absorb and actually, you know, get into what I'm supposed to be studying. But when the lights go out and Dude. I'm using them to read, not the best situation in the world. So you're saying your roommate just literally turns the light off on when you're trying to read. Right, yeah, and it's not just once. I will sit there, I'll be reading, and it will happen multiple times. I will get up, turn it on, come back, get settled, get comfortable, put my feet up on something, start reading again, the lights immediately go off. Alex, respect the environment. We, we only have one earth, Alex. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that's such an issue for you. Okay. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my roommate. Right, let's hear it. My roommate has such insane anger issues okay. that we can be playing something as mundane as NCAA football for, or Xbox. Okay. May, maybe he gets scored on. Books are thrown. In, no. Insane no. yelling no. matches. People no. always knock on no. our door, no. tell us to keep it down. Uh, it's First of all, it kind of freaks me out that he gets that yeah. upset over a video game. Okay. Um, uh, it's just a game. Right, no. First of all, no. Uh, there's no need to pitch a fit. I mean, right, yeah. We're adults. What it's just a game and no. we're adults, but... I mean, I feel like people have their emotions, and those should be let to roam free. It's like free-range beef. It's the best. All right, All right man. I'm right. just saying that, could, that can be annoying. Okay. That can be well, perceived as annoying. Right. Okay, I could understand that if someone maybe had a little bit of a problem with that. I mean, maybe people need to be more courteous and tone it down just a bit, but, I mean, I don't see why it's a huge deal. Um, I mean, it's not like someone is coming and... I don't know, say, borrowing your hygiene products. Uh, I don't know. I'm all for people keeping themselves clean and good looking and everything. Upkeep, generally. Agreed. Is Couldn't not, agree more. Not looked down on in society. But maybe when someone, I don't know, comes into your drawer, ruffles it around a little bit, takes some of your personal things and uses them on spots generally you don't want people to use other things on, uh, say, for trimming hair just for instance, or maybe sticking your toothbrush in their mouth. Uh, you know, I just can't appreciate that. Wow. I, I feel well, like... Well, as long as, long as we're on bathroom, okay. um, first of all, I'm, I'm really sorry that that bothers you. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that your roommate's personal upkeep bothers you. But as, as, as long as we're on bathroom, Not a problem. Um, maybe, maybe I might share this anecdote. Um, all right. Let's hear it. First of all, shower time is my time. When, when I'm in the shower, I expect to be alone. <laughs> And uh, sometimes my roommate uh, feels the need to take care of his own business while I'm in the shower. Not necessarily in the shower, but other things go on in that bathroom, i.e. using the restroom. Right. Um, what it's made for. What? Yes. Yes. Yes, that is what it's made for. Um, the timing here, however, is important. Okay. What, while I'm in the shower, I'd say it's probably not appropriate to, to use the toilet. And um, if you right. are going to use the toilet, maybe we have a little bit more of a locker room mentality and only, only go number one. Per se. All right. Maybe yeah. maybe that's inappropriate. Uh, maybe that's uh, maybe that's wrong. I'm just saying that people live together. People are used to these situations. Let me uh, use maybe a little green logic on you here. Animals sometimes they do both at the same time. They just walk into the stream. They're cleaning themselves. If they have to take care of business, it's taken care of right then, my friend. Well, so. From someone who, who so fervently applauded, applauded personal hygiene, I, right. that shocks me a bit. But um, f fair enough, I suppose. Yeah. Um, well, you know. I'm not against people taking showers or anything. I understand that that is part of personal hygiene. Uh, That's good. You know, per yeah. personal hygiene. Personal, personal is being the key word there, alone. Right. Yeah. Personal. But, I mean, uh, there is a curtain on the shower. That's, that, that's all I'm saying. Curtains don't prevent smell, Alex. Right, okay. Well, uh, maybe... Sometimes roommates overestimate themselves a little bit. Maybe they tend to spread themselves a little thin. And uh, along with all their study activities and all the duties that they may have in, I don't know, with any classes or student organizations, things of that nature, uh, maybe they also think they're an athlete. Maybe they think 
that uh, they can train for, oh, say, uh, the Olympics. Not like 2016 is seven years away. Not like Rio de Janeiro is in the United States, because it's not. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like if I'm trying to study and read, maybe I've got a big paper due. LA 401, for instance, I need to know about ethics and technology that I shouldn't be made to help my roommate train for Olympic events, such as the high jump. Because not only does this disturb me, it also disturbs other people in the room and in the hall when someone is trotting around gleefully, might I add, and, uh, I don't know, just enjoying themselves instead of respecting other people. I believe in the roommate agreement. Okay. Someone said that we were supposed to support each other in our various endeavors. Okay. I'm and not I, quite sure who I'm, that was, but fine. I'm, I'm sorry, your roommate has aspirations. Hmm. Well. You, you know what, Alex? You know what? what maybe you know what's bugging bugging most roommates uh, is the constant party boy scene. <laughs> I'm taking LA 401. I'm trying to graduate. Maybe yeah. when I'm trying to read, um, you know, my, when my roommate constantly has little dance parties solo most of the time, mind you, that maybe that's inappropriate. Uh, well, I'm trying to read blaring music, dancing in my face. I think feel like sometimes I, that uh, that's. You know, wrong as a roommate. Maybe that's not a good roommate. I mean, there's a living room and a separate room, and I feel like the word roommate more applies to a bedroom, really, than anything. Uh, yeah, the living room is a shared area, and I feel like I can share it with whoever I want. Uh, I mean, not necessarily having parties all the time, but maybe if I wanted to have someone over for tea, or if, I, say, I did wanted to dance. Whatever. Well, the L LLC is not a circus. Oh. Let's keep okay. that in mind. All right. Well, uh, that's what's bugging us this week. That's what's bugging me, for sure. Yeah, maybe we got some kinks to work out. Maybe so. Back to you.